I've built a few Gauge 1 live steam locomotives so far. This is the next one I'm going to build and it's going to be scratch built and it's going to be live steam and I hope you find the series of following videos interesting to watch. And you might be able to see I put some bungs in here now and that's the an entry point there and I put some bungs in here. Now what I did I tested this just a while ago put some air pressure on it and there were as I possibly said, you, you can never tell till you put some pressure on it. There were two little leaks just here and here and they were coming from the rivets. Just these two particular rivets had not had silver solder on them. So I put some silver solder on them. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll just try it again under pressure. Okay, as you can see there, as you can probably see there, we've got the compressor set up and there's 100 pound, 100 psi on that compressor. So this is the first part of the testing that I do is really just test it on compressed air initially. So all it is just hooked up to the compressor with an airline and we've got the boiler there just in some water. So we'll put some we'll put some air on here now. Just open this up. That's going up to 50. Okay, that's looking good now. Excellent. So there's 100 psi, 100 pounds per square inch now, of compressed air in that boiler. And if there were any leaks, you'd soon see them. And normally if there's a leak, and you can see the bubble, the usually see the bubbles appear, and it's a very good, very easy to identify where the leak is. Because when you take it out the water, you can see it fizzing. So you can just uh, mark out where the leak is. Also, I've started some work on the on the regulator. Uh, this essentially will f is what feeds the steam to the cylinders, and it feeds the steam to the blower, and it fits near the back head. And initially made a start. So also, what I've done. This is the one of the um, if you like one of the one of the valves, the lead, the, the valves that controlled it and that screws in there, I've not cut it to length but that screws in there, there'll be a little a little lever on there to open so it'll just open and close, it'll turn like that and just got some these are some nuts for the gland that uh, fits fits on either end. All set up now and I've given the boiler a clean up, just a nice uh, clean up and polish so it looks it looks quite nice now. Uh, we're set up now for the hydraulic test and you can see there this is a high pressure uh, high pressure tube coming from our certified pressure gauge that reads from 0 to 400 pound per square inch and our pump at this end with a little reservoir and some water and what I've just do is make sure the boil is full and you see that there's water coming out of there so that's looking okay so you can nip this down now Tighten that up. Now the operating pressure from this boiler, this working pressure is going to be 70 pounds, 70 pounds per square inch. So for a hydraulic test we need to do twice that much at least which is going to be 140 pounds. So we'll start to pressurise this now. I can see that's going up. That's eighty pound. So there's one forty. And actually one sixty so that that's plenty. I'll just zoom in there so you can you can see that uh, gauge. 
do a little tweak. There, that's really 160. 160 pound, that's twice the working pressure. Now it's got to hold that pressure for about 20 minutes. And if there was any leaks, you'd soon know about it. And that's looking okay. And it's dropped back slightly. Ah, I can see why it's dropped back ever so slightly. There's a tiny leak just coming from that. I only did that finger tight. So I just need to tweak there. We, yeah, there are. That's why that's leaking there. So we're sitting on 160. That's more than twice the normal working pressure. And the idea is you've got to hold that for about, I can't remember whether it's 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Uh, so we'll just let that sit there. In fact, look, I'm up to 180 now. That's more than twice working pressure. Well pleased with that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully we'll see you again for the next episode.